Hey guys, Rolly at or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Division video. It's Thursday, so that only means one thing. That does indeed mean it's the state of the game recap time. Now this one isn't going to be anywhere near as jam-packed with news as the one last week, where they announced that they are working on a Division 2. This one was a more community-focused state of the game. However, we do have some small bits of news, mainly regarding the PTS. Now the PTS had an update today, and it fixed a few little bits, but the new global event also went live that that global event being Onslaught. If you want to know all the information about Onslaught, I'm going to have a video up on my channel in the next couple of days, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. But what was fixed? There was a problem with Grand Central Station on Legendary. When you completed that mission, it wouldn't actually let you complete it or do the last objective. That has now been fixed. There was also some commendations that were tied to leaderboards. They've now been removed from the PTS and shouldn't be reappearing. Now before I move on to stats with Yannick, we have one last bit of interesting news, and that is Nvidia Ansel support is planned for June. A lot, and I mean a lot of people have been requesting this, and now we finally have a date for when it's meant to be supported. This is going to be really, really cool, and I know it's going to make a lot of people very happy. Unfortunately, I have an AMD card, so it doesn't really mean much to me. We got some stats with Yannick. Now, only a couple of stats, but these are continued from a few weeks ago, and there was a stat about how many people have played 400 hours of the game, and it was a ridiculous amount, like 500,000. But they wanted to look into this a lot farther. So players who have played more than 1,000 thousand hours that would be 118,000 people and then players who have played more than 5,000 hours 421 of you that's insane and shows a crazy amount of support and dedication so if you're one of the players in one of those two groups then major props to you guys for sticking through it and really hitting this game hard also I just want to give a shout out to a huge group of streamers as well as uber timmy for putting it together but they actually did a 72 hour live stream over last weekend. I was actually planned to take part but something came up and I had to drop out. I was really gutted by not making it but these guys definitely did an amazing job. Now they streamed in aid of Starlight, a charity based in Australia and they raised over 7,000 Australian dollars. An insane amount of money and it's all going to go to a great cause. So I just want to say a massive thank you to those guys for being awesome. They all know who they are but major major shout out to Uber Timmy for being such a great guy and for being such a great figure within this community. I'm going to leave his link in the description and it'd mean the world to me if you could go over and follow him on his Twitter. But there it is guys, another State of the Game recap down. I know it was a short one but I still wanted to keep you up to date. As always if you enjoyed this video and found it useful in any way whatsoever then please let me know by either clicking that like button or by leaving a comment. And if you're new around here and want to stay up to date with all of the things The Division and The Division 2, I'm never going to get tired of saying that, then uh, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. But as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.